Hello there, my beautiful Pisces friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Pisces, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, let's uh, split this deck and pull cards from the center. So we're starting with the star card. Wow, what a beautiful energy for you, Pisces. This is letting me know that the universe and spirit guides are conspiring in your favor. A lot of you have been wishing for something. A lot of you are praying for something, trying to manifest something. This is coming into fruition. I want you to know that. Now, this is a major arcana card. So that manifestation, whatever it is that you're wanting to come into your life, it's now coming in. All right, so some of you are going to feel this energy uh, intensely. Others, you are going to feel this subtly. Okay, so you're feeling that breeze of change. You're also seeing the signs around you. So when the universe and spirit guides conspire in our favor, we see synchronicities, we see omens, we see signs through animals, through insects, through numbers, through everything around us. So I want you to be aware and attentive to whatever it is that's coming in. I don't want you to look for it because it's going to happen in front of you. Just to be aware and open to all the things that are coming through. And look at this, we're getting the page of wands. So this is good news coming in. So not only is the universe and spirit guides guiding you at this time, because the star is a guidance card, um, there's it's guiding you towards this place where not only are you going to be able to see your world from an eagle eyes view because this is what i'm seeing here is this woman looking over a field and seeing everything for what it is but there's also news coming in with this so this is going to come in either intuitively or through a person in your life so be aware of this good news is coming towards you. We're also getting the Knight of Cups. So there's an offer coming in. This could be a love offer. This could be another offer that is going to light your heart up. It's going to make your heart sing. So a lot of good things are coming towards you here, Pisces. So be aware of that. Whatever this is, this uh, Knight of Cups energy, I, I feel that you, you're not expecting this. This is going to come in a most, the most unexpected way. And that's how the universe works. It really works in unexpected and mysterious ways here Pisces this is such a beautiful energy for you I feel that you know these prayers these wishes whatever it is that you're seeking I feel for a lot of you you're seeking that happiness you're really wanting emotional satisfaction and fulfillment in your life and you're wanting to um this calm energy is coming in. So maybe you're wanting calmness. Maybe you're wanting some harmony, that peace and quiet in your life. This is where uh, spirit guides are leading you towards, okay? So whether it's you seeing that North Star and just following this, I feel that the signs are all around you. You're seeing them very clearly. Those of you that aren't, it's all about uh, really grounding your energy and being in the present moment looking around you for you know looking at the beauty of mother nature around you especially those of you that live in a very busy city where i don't know perhaps new york maybe you're in la miami wherever it is that you live it's busy hustle bustle i'm hearing like cars like train sounds lots of different noises this is what you have to drown out this is where you really quiet your mind and allow yourself to be one with the universe be one with yourself even with your soul allow yourself to listen to the those whispers that are coming in because you're divinely being guided at this time there's some a breeze of change coming in and this can feel a little scary I want you to know here Pisces that you manifested whatever is going on in your life so when the universe um, starts shifting our reality to kind of bring in blessings to bring in manifestations we have to go through that period of change um, and what's happening is spirit guides are uh, and the universe are molding you into that version of you that is going to be able to receive the blessings that are coming towards you that you, my friends, asked for. 
So think of it like that. So whenever you see change coming in, especially if you've been praying for something, if you've been asking for something from the universe, this is the universe delivering it to you. And sometimes we have to overcome some sort of a hardship. Sometimes we have to kind of navigate our way through some sort of a challenge or there's a hump in the road, right? We've got to get past that because on the other side of that is that blessing, is that manifestation waiting for you. Okay, so I want you to really think of it like that. And I also want you to put yourself into a very positive abundance mindset and practice that daily remaining in that high vibration, that frequency, right? Because through that free frequency, by you staying there, you're going to see a lot of beautiful things coming towards you. There's a lot of good news, good messages coming in. Dreams are big right now. Those of you that have been having vivid dreams, write them down because you're receiving messages through those dreams. There's something coming in. And um, I've been having really vivid dreams as well. So I'm trying to understand what they are. And mine's have been a little bit aggressive. It's me being aggressive, being a version of myself that I'm not. So I'm trying to understand what that is. So any of you understand what that is, especially if you know how to do dream analysis, write that down in the comment section here, my friends. And what is it that you're praying for? What is it that you're wishing for here, my friends? Write it down. What are your fears that are holding you back from receiving this? Maybe it's a change that's coming in your life, whatever it is, release it in the comment section there and let it go right? This is a really good community. We are all here. We are all like-minded people, right? Let's lift each other up and allow our dreams to come through through that collective conscious energy. I have a live moon ritual coming up on August the 30th. Any of you that are interested, mark it down in your calendars. The last one was awesome and this one's going to be even better. All right, so follow those signs here. You're divinely being guided, Pisces, and whatever this news is, it's going to come in the form of you know, a message, right? Intuitive message. Perhaps some of you are going to receive intuitive downloads through your dreams, right? Or this is just thoughts coming in. You're kind of like, where is this coming from? Um, this could be you walking down the street, overhearing a conversation that gives you an answer around something, especially if you're asking for guidance from spirit guides, right? When we ask for guidance from spirit guides, they actually bring it in. And it's in a way that we're not expecting. So I always release the energy of um, expectation when I'm asking for something from the universe or if I'm trying to pull in uh, strings of abundance or when I'm manifesting something because what happens is oh my gosh so this is what I'm seeing in my mind right now it just came in is dandelions have any of you uh, seen dandelions recently so they're showing me a memory of mine when I used to be young Every time I saw dandelions, and I don't know where I got this, it could have been from TV, it could have been from other kids, but anytime I saw a whole bunch of dandelions, I'd be like, oh my God, look at all the wishes I get to make. I grab that dandelion and make a wish and blow on it and allow it to go into the air. And I keep doing that with as many dandelions and I'd release that energy, I'd forget about it, right? So this is what Spirit Guides are wanting you to do here, um, is to release that energy and allow the universe to bring it in because when we're children, that inner child, when we're making a wish, we usually just release it and forget about it. And we don't even know how it's gonna come in. And this is what Spirit Guides want you to do here, Pisces, especially those of you that are like, okay, I'm not seeing that change coming in. And you know, a lot of the times through my own personal experience, we're the ones that have to take the action. We have to initiate we have to get into motion for that manifestation for that prayer to come in right we have we're very powerful human beings and i feel here that some of you have already heard the good news and now you're seeing a bigger picture like there's something that you're wanting to do here pisces i feel for some of you because you're empaths you're highly intuitive uh you're very connected here you're starting to feel that ascension that transcension happening in your life oh my gosh Whew. That scared the heck out of me. That was my um, board that's against the window and I have the window open, so that just terrified me. So um, clearly something is opening up for me <laughs> here. Um, but I feel that, yes, there's an opening, that transcension, there's something coming in for some of you Pisces out there. So I want you to be very aware and they're wanting you to dream as big as you can. 
what are your dreams what are you wanting to accomplish in life what is it that you desire to do in this world while you're here that is what they want you to have a vision around and really picture it picture the whole thing through an eagle's eye view through this is that news that's coming in okay so a lot of opening it inspiration listen to that inner inspiration this is what this card is asking you to do is you know, whenever you're walking down the street, if you hear someone having a conversation and it inspires you to act on something, this is the kind of message that is coming in. So, and that's the part I missed here is the inspiration. That's your, where your heart sings. It's where you're excited. That joy comes out and you're like, I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to do this. That's what you need to listen to. So I feel that whether it's you listening to something online, whether it's a song and the lyrics are resonating with you right now, or if you're having a conversation, it sparks something, or you're reading a book and there's a sentence and your mind just sparks with the light, that is what you need to listen to and that is what you need to do more of. That is your intuition here, Pisces, okay? And there is an offer coming in. For some of you, this is a love offer and I feel that there's somebody around you that has a crush on you here, Pisces, so expect someone to come in and give you a love offer let you know how they they're feeling about you they're even paying you a compliment because i feel here um nobody wants to be vulnerable right there's so much guarded energy and i feel that this person has been guarded for a while but they're going to come out of their comfort zone and actually um pay you a compliment like oh my gosh your eyelashes look beautiful today or something like oh my gosh your hair looks really nice oh i love the way you put gel in your hair or some something silly it's unexpected and they're going to pay a compliment so i feel there's some sort of love coming towards you this is a very loving energy it doesn't necessarily have to be a love connection. It could be just a friendship. It could be somebody bringing you an offer of love, an offer for you to do something that's going to tap into an emotion that perhaps some of you haven't felt in a long time. This is giving you a really good feeling. So lots of incoming blessings towards you here, Pisces. Like, I just can't even believe it. It's so beautiful. I just feel that this is um, some of you are waiting for someone to come back from somewhere. Some of you are like really waiting on a, a soulmate or a friendship or something that you're waiting for to come in. This is coming towards you. For a lot of you, this is going to be an unexpected incoming blessing from someone, something that is going to have a positive impact on your life, something that is going to um, have you experience something that you haven't experienced in your life before. This could be a friend coming in and saying, hey, Pisces, let's go to Zumba today. I know you haven't tried it, but I've been having such a great time. And then you go try the Zumba class and you're like, oh my gosh. I love the energy. I love the people. I'm going to start Zumba today. It's that kind of energy, right? That's coming towards you and that feeling, that excitement, that inspiration that's coming in as good news. This, this is just this opening of a new world for you. This is you exploring the possibilities and it's coming through an offer of sorts, right? This could be so someone coming in saying, hey, Pisces, I've got two extra tickets. You want to come with me to Mexico? You've never been and you're like, okay, yeah, let's go and do this. And you have the best time of your life, that kind of energy. Or for example, someone says, hey, have you ever tried this coffee? I'm going to give you, a, I bought you a free coffee here. Try this. It's one of my favorites and I wanted to share it with you and you try it and it's your new favorite now. That kind of little things that come in, it's going to trickle in like that for you, Pisces. So be aware of this energy. Know that there's a lot of love coming towards you, a lot of blessings in many different forms. And there's a lot of divine guidance around you, uh, especially those of you that have these big dreams. Get into action here. Really start uh, doing the things that you're wanting to do. Explore the possibilities around this world and get out of that negative mindset. I'm getting this like negative mindset energy like I can't do this there's no way like I could possibly I'm too scared of this or I don't know this or that you know what I I used to say this but when I'd say it I'd be like okay how can I learn this how can I, I do this like if someone says this well I don't know if it's true if someone's telling me I'm not good at this for example when I first started tarot readings I come from a corporate uh, world a business and stuff so when I started doing tarot readings, people were like, Ria, that's totally not you. That's so woo-woo. That's not you. You're very business, and this, that, and the other thing. And I said, sure, whatever. I was in this part of my life, but now in this part, I'm going to be Ria, the tarot reader, right? So 
I'm very spiritual. I'm very tapped in and tuned with my intuition. I see the signs all around me. I know exactly where I'm going and I trust my intuition, my inner guidance, my inner compass, right? So spirit guides are really wanting you to trust that. And sometimes when we can't hear that inner compass, it's because we have too much noise around us. So we have to really quiet our mind and get ourselves into this place where we ground our energy, come to the present moment, really listen and tune in, turn that radio dial to the right tune and you'll know because you'll feel it you'll see it around you right so that is your uh, tarot reading with the tarot cards here pisces i'm now going to pull a clarifier card for you so this is the en enchanted forest oracle deck i want you to sit with this one this message here pisces i really want you to soak this one in okay so i'm going to pull one card and see what we get and then i'll pull a bonus card and an angel number for you as well so this is your clarifier card where there is hope don't believe that past defeats or disappointments will keep you from succeeding true success grows from the lessons a hopeful heart never gives up where there is hope that's that energy i was feeling of that negative mindset and it's very minor but this is the message that is coming through where there is hope, my friends. I feel this is aligning really well with this card because I feel that a lot of you are regaining hope, faith, that things are going to work out for the better. And there's a lot of incoming blessings coming towards you. So know that, there, that the universe has your back here, Pisces, that everything is working in the background in your favor. I'm going to read this card to you one more time. Where there is hope. Don't believe that past defeats or disappointments will keep you from succeeding here, Pisces. True success grows from the lessons. A hopeful heart never gives up. All right, so allow that to percolate. Allow it to just soak into your soul. All right, I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you as well and see what the message on this card is. This is a new deck I received. I think I've used it once on my channel, so I'll make sure that I post the links in the description box below. You belong to you, Pisces. Any of you seen a zebra lately? This is your confirmation for this message here. You belong to you and nobody else. So I'm gonna read you the message on this card. Instead of pleasing others to fit in Pisces, simply be your most authentic self. Don't let anyone talk you into doing something that's not for you. All right, so you belong to you, nobody else. I'm gonna read this one more time. There's also an affirmation on this card that you can use. So make sure you write this down if you wanna use it for your own, um, as, as an own affirmation here. So you belong to you here, Pisces. Instead of pleasing others to fit in, simply be your most authentic self. Don't let anyone talk you into doing something that's not for you. And the affirmation on this card is, I am myself without compromise. I am myself without compromise. So that is your bonus message today. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. All right, so let's see uh, what we get here today. Number zero, I am limitless. What a perfect angel number for you today pisces oh my goodness so any of you seen zeros lately know that you my friends are limitless i'm going to read you the message on this card there is no beginning and there is no end all is infinite it is time to develop your spiritual side here pisces you are gaining new insight and understanding of both godly and earthly things and i truly feel that you are i feel a lot of you are spiritually growing you're highly intuitive right now it's super power like it's like on steroids right it's that that's how it feels like you're like what is going on here and i feel pisces you're naturally this way anyways and it's just amplified so don't be afraid of this just allow yourself to feel whatever it is that you're feeling and allow yourself to flow with this energy ground yourselves especially if you're feeling uh, unbalanced with this energy it's normal to feel a little bit unbalanced just calm yourself down drown out the noise and allow yourself to sit with it don't be afraid of it all right so 
this is your message today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.